Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today with another college football preview of the 2021 season is Coach Jeff Bowen from Arizona Christian, whose firestorm came away with a conference championship in 2020 in the Sooner Athletic Conference, 9-2 and two on the season, Coach. Uh, you came away with uh, a pretty good year, playing the bulk of your games in the spring, but able to get 11 games in on the season. There's a lot to be said for that, definitely, through 2020 and 2021. A first-round loss in the NAIA playoffs to Kaiser, but overall, Coach, a good year. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was, it was unique, that's for sure. A uh, 10-month football season and everything our guys had to go through to make that happen and, uh, you know, playing in the fall and the spring. There was a lot of things that were different, but, um, you know, the guys did well. They, uh, they they achieved at a high level and came away with a really successful season. Coach, you look ahead to 2021, and, and I think one of the names that stands out to me as we talk about the offensive side of the ball is Aiden Quinn. Uh, a pretty good year last year, the school's all-time leader in rushing yards. He comes back for his senior season, among others, on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, Aiden had a nice year and was, uh, you know, first team all conference. And, um, you know, he, he is the, the record setter uh, for the university. And um, I think what's really helped him get to that level is the quality of uh, the other running backs that we put in the room with him. Cole Davis, uh, who, who missed the, uh, he played a little bit in the playoff game, just trying to come back. He got hurt and he was putting up big numbers for us. You know, Alex York, um, it's kind of our home run hitter and um, Tyrese Galar, who has suffered a torn ACL in our big win over uh, Ottawa. Um, those guys really produced and, um, you know, Aiden's the leader of the room because he'll be a senior this year. Coach, that was a big win, by the way. I'd, I'd stop there for a moment and say uh, congratulations on that win. I, You know, there there are certain games that seem to propel as the season goes on. I know that was one that was a little bit earlier on, but it had to be a big one for you and for the program. That's a, it's a, it, was, it was a very big win for us. They're the other uh, local NAI school in Arizona, so obviously that's going to build a natural rivalry. Um, we hadn't beat them previously and then to be down by, uh, you know, 31 points in the second half and to roll back on them. It was, a uh, it was a special, special afternoon for the guys. And, uh, you know, one will never forget and it did it propelled us into the rest of the season and, and the conference championship. We're speaking now here on Midwest Sportsnet with Jeff Bowen, who is the head football coach at Arizona Christian, a regional coach of the year, by the way, for your efforts last season. Coach, you you talk about we've talked about the offense, talk about the defense a little bit. I think Riley Tucker uh, stands out there, six interceptions last year, but that's okay. That's what he did the year before that. So uh, it seems to be something you're accustomed to seeing from him. But it was a defense that that seemed to get better as the game went on. You you talked about that Ottawa game and and coming back. And a lot of do you have to to score a lot to to be able to come back in a game like that? But the defense has to hold and, and really do its job. And this defense was giving up less than ten points per half in the second half over the course of the entire season. So it looks like again it, it seemed like it got better as the game went on. Well, I, I tell you the the defense is is really the one of the main differences in, in our successes last year. Um, you know, they've gotten a lot better. Coach Sewell and, and the defensive staff has done a great job. Uh, Todd Williamson, our co-defensive coordinator, and then Art Alfred is one of our new coaches that we got on campus. Uh, and he's an analytics guy, and he's really added to the table. And then, um, you know, um, you got David Shelton coaching the cornerbacks, and he's – he played at the professional level for a lot of years in the Canadian league, and he's just added that little something for us. And then our defensive line coach, Ben Harris, did a phenomenal job. We had we had four of our defensive linemen make all conference this year, and he did a great job with those guys. And uh, the defense was a difference for us. I mean, and, and you talk about the second half, uh, they, they did. They came out and they, they shut people down and gave us a chance. And, uh, um, you know, offensively, we, did, we were very similar to what we've been in the past. It's just we did it different because of losing players and different guys stepping into roles that, that uh, we didn't expect, but the defense uh, was solid all year long. Well, Coach, 
Tucker was a second team All American, not the only one. You had four All Americans on your team, including from special teams. And your kicker, Hagera, 46, uh, 46 of 47 extra point attempts, 7 11 field goal, including a 46 yard game winner against Sagu. And he got uh, more recognition for your program as well. <laughs> Yeah, um, Manny went viral, so it was kind of cool. <laughs> um, you know, in that two-day period, we had over 8 million hits on our social media accounts, and that's more than the, the previous uh, six years of our football existence. So, um, yeah, he, you know, he handled it really well and with a lot of grace because, you know, all the, the unique-looking little kicker that bangs field goals, you know, and stuff like that. And he did a great job as did all of our all Americans. And, um, the nice thing is they're, they're all four back. And, uh, so that's a real plus for us. Um, but, but Manny's been a special kicker since he walked on campus and, uh, he, he makes people a believer. Uh, they, they don't necessarily stare, stare at him and, uh, you know, make comments about his stature after he starts banging 40 and 50 yard field goals on a consistent <laughs> basis. Uh, that's that is a great equalizer, I'm sure. When the, when the talent steps up like that, well, coach, the season gets underway in late August. You take on Lincoln at home, and then the remainder of your ten game schedule, all Sooner Athletic Conference games, you get things started on the road against Texas Wesleyan. By the way, the only team to have uh, given you all a loss during the regular season last year, so you get that game in the early part of the schedule. Talk about your twenty one slate. Well, the, the the game with Lincoln will be unique. They're a first-year program, and we've been there not too long ago because we've only been around seven years. Um, so I'm excited about it because um, from, a, from a pure football standpoint, it gives us another NAI school on the West Coast, and I think that's vital. Uh, in fact, the more schools that, that start NAI programs on the West Coast, it's only going to add to the, the quality of play. Um, within the conferences that these schools go to. So we open up with Lincoln, and and uh, you never know what you're going to get with a new program. Um, so we've, we've been there. We, we know, and they'll be ready to play. And then, um, you know, every, every week is a huge week when you're playing the rest of your uh, conference schedule and you, you don't have any other non-conference games. So you got got to be ready from, from out of the gate. And then, uh, obviously, Texas Wesleyan, uh, handed us our only loss last year. First time we had lost to them. And, um, to tell you the truth, that was, um, that was a, a real eye opening point for us last year when we lost to them at the, the end of the, the fall season. And I think it really changed our perspective and how we prepared as a, as a team coaching staff and players for the spring. And, um, so we're excited about that game. And then everybody in the conference, you know, uh, Lyon, um, Langston is always uh, tough. You know, they, they win uh, conference titles, and they've always been a, a tough rival-type game for us. Obviously, Ottawa on there is a big game for us. And uh, uh, Sagu, has, we've always had really, really tough games with Sagu, and uh, Coach Smith does a great job over there. And then, and then you bring back some, uh, some you know, Texas Wesleyan only played a few games and then sat out the rest of the season because of the COVID stuff. Texas College is back next year, and you, you really don't know what to expect there because they have a new head coach. And and um, so there's a lot of unique uh, storylines this year in the Sooner Athletic Conference, and we're excited about having the opportunity to, to, to defend our title. Well, it should be fun, and it should be a fun one to watch. So, Coach, thank you. And by the way, I know it's summertime. You come to us from an undisclosed location in the Northwest. So I appreciate you taking time with us today and talking about the 2021 season. Coach Jeff Bowen for Arizona Christian. Success to you all this season, to the Firestorm, and thank you again for taking time with us here on Midwest Sportsnet. I uh, appreciate you having me on anytime. And, uh, you know, anytime you want to talk NAI football is good for, for us and it's good for anybody that's involved in it. And now I'll go, I'll go get some fishing done. <laughs>